What is up, everybody? Welcome back. We got a two for today. We're talking about Invincible, the Compendium Collected Edition, and we have a special unboxing, a CGC graded Invincible number one issue. Guys, this is a huge two-part extravaganza for us. I've got notes written. I've got a whole thing. I've been preparing for this video. I am so ready. I have got to talk about Invincible, and I've got to talk about it now. Invincible may be my favorite superhero story ever now. Guys, I think I'm going to have to do this unboxing first. Get it out of the way so you guys know what I'm dealing with. Go ahead and crack this box. This is an eBay buy. A lot of bubble wrap. He told me he packaged it tight. Two boxes. We got a box within a box situation. I am in love with this man right now. We have got an Invincible number one CGC graded book from 2003, first print, in a 9.6. Holy cow. Invincible number one, Image Comics, January 2003. First full appearance of Invincible, Mark Grayson. First appearance of Omni Man, Nolan Grayson. Invincible pinup by Tony Moore. Robert Kirkman story, Cor Corey Walker and Bill Crabtree cover and art before Ryan Otley got on it. Wow. This is clean. This is a this has been this has been slabbed a while ago. It's there's they slabbed it different. Like it's not a shaker. This thing is solid as a rock. It's got color rub on the back. I saw a hair there. I was like, oh no. I think that just might be from my beard. I got scared there for a minute. Uh, top left corner. Um, is got color rub on the back side. Color rub, there's a lot of color rub on the back. Uh, this book's been pressed. Obviously, you can see where they put the, uh, the backer board in there. This is, this is a 9.6. This is not even a consideration for, for a re-slab to a 9.8. Wow, nice book, man. This is my favorite superhero comic. I'm going to say it right now. Um, I'm going to talk about this. This is my favorite superhero comic. It has literally everything you would want. It has the action. It's got the story. It's got characters that you're going to grow to love. It's got that quick, witty, quippy story that you're going to love. This started in 2003. And to my knowledge, there is only 9,000 to 10,000 copies of Invincible number one, even in existence right now. So, um, as far as the CGC reports, there are 355 9.8s and 439 9.6s as of the filming of this in January of 2022. 9.8s have increased from $195 2017 to a high sale of $7,000 in 2021. I got this book for $1,400 on eBay. This book is selling for well over that. I got a freaking steal on this. This book is selling for over $2,000 consistently in a 9.6 white pages. This is a Robert Kirkman story. You know him from The Walking Dead from Firepower, from, from Skybound Image. He's a powerhouse when it comes to storytelling. Um, Robert Kirkman may be one of my favorite writers. You can have your, your Alan Moores. You can have your Neil Gaimans. Give me some Robert Kirkman stories any day. Now, I don't. he may be like a shady dude, like side, sideways stuff, like paying people and giving people credit where it's due. But man, his name's on the covers. And that's what I got to go on. So this man, this man knows how to write a story. When I first looked at these covers, when I first looked at this book, this book looked corny as hell. I'm not going to lie. Like it looked like just like some basic 
superhero story, man, I judged the crap out of this book. And then I watched that Amazon Prime series, low expectations going in, and I was absolutely blown away. The voice acting, the action, the animation. It is anime in a Western style animation story. I mean, it has, it is a basic concept. It is boy gets superpowers, boy wants to live up to father's superpowers, boy has father who is a Superman type character, and boy learns that Superman father is not what he thinks he is. That premise right there is enough to go on. This is a action-packed, heart-wrenching, non-stop story that goes for 144 issues. This span from 2003 for 15 years all the way to 2018. I put up a poll here recently on the community. Who read this when it came out? Who, who bought this? Obviously, not a whole lot of people were you know, clamoring for Invincible number one as evidenced by the, the 9,000 to 10,000 number ones that were available. If you read this in a issue by issue basis, I, I don't know, like, I don't know if you would have experienced it the way that I've experienced it. I have been reading these in these compendiums. This is the cheapest way to possibly read this book. Um, these are $65 MSRP. They are cheaper um, on Amazon. I bought them all on Amazon. I think they were like 40, 45 bucks a piece. This collects all the issues. There's no extra stuff. There's no, um, you know, like um, how they drew it or the storyboards or any kind of discussion at the end. This is basically you get what you get. You do get the covers in between the different issues as compared to certain other compendiums, Spawn, <laughs> from Image, which I can't believe they did that. But um, this is the cheapest way to do it, and this is how I think it should be read. If you were reading this on an issue-to-issue -issue basis, which is what I put up in the um, in the surveys that I put up in the polls, um, I don't think you would have had as good of experience. Most people, a lot of people haven't read this, and most people, when they did read it, they didn't read it um, in an issue-by-issue -issue basis. So when I first read this, and I can... I, I'm one of those people that that watched the the season one before I read it, so judge me if you want. But I think a lot of people are in that same boat. When I first started reading this, it's very different. Well, not very different. It when I first started reading this, it is slightly different than the the show. So um, you know, certain his certain love interests and just tonally, it it cracks you over the head right in the beginning with Omni Man going bad. Spoilers. So this one, it kind of builds up to that. And, and honestly, I got kind of scared because I was like, is this going to be, is not going to be vi as violent? Is this going to be like a toned down version of the, of the show? And I got, I got concerned because I was like, I don't want to read this if it's that way. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, I was wrong. The gore, the violence, it is all here. And it is in just incredibly, incredible color and just incredible art. The major theme in this story is what does it mean to be a hero? So Mark Grayson, Invincible, wrestles with that through the whole story, even up until the end. And he even makes a statement um, in, the, in, the, in the book saying, being a hero is pretty much bull Which, man, I, I can see that because there's so many factors. At the end of the day, you know, what is right? Is it your own morality? Is it what other people have told you to be right? Is it what's accepted by society is what's right? What is it to be a hero? And this book nails that. He, it, he wrestles with it. And, and Mark is, at his core, pure. All superhero tropes are here. Like, this book does a really good job of using tropes that we've known in the past and then kind of weaving it into something that's new and fresh. And characters that we know are Batman, our Superman, our Wolverine, our Green Lantern, all of these characters that you know, it kind of, you give us a new take on them. Side characters that you wouldn't consider even important or valid, Kirkman makes you care about these characters. He, 
he brings them to life and even just with little nuggets of information just just a little tidbit specifically like character like battle beast a secondary character at best and makes them so memorable so vicious so the fight scenes in this story are some of the best fight scenes I've read in comics, period. So in the show, think Dragon Ball Z. You've got just impossibly powerful characters fighting in the air, um, moving at like incredible speeds that an average human couldn't be able to perceive. You get a lot less of the buildup because, you know, so many times in, in Dragon Ball Z, like it's, it's Goku, you know, has to build up, oh my, oh my, yeah. you know, he has to build up to that. Well, you don't get that here. It's just nonstop violence. It's nonstop gore. People just straight, you know, Viltrumites punching through other characters, exploding guts, uh, just like viciousness. It's almost similar to Berserk in its violence. And this has obviously been inspired by Japanese type anime. As far as what you get in this compendium, um, this collects issues 40, uh, 0 through 47. Uh, compendium number 2 collects issues 48 through 96. And then compendium number 3 collects 97 through 144. Once you get started on this, you're not going to want to stop. Um, as far as what, you, what, what it's like reading these, this is not a hardbound book. So you don't have that give in the spine. So in the beginning of the book and towards the end of the book, for the first several, for the first couple hundred pages, I'd say first 150 pages or so, you know, you're gonna have to hold down the book. It's not gonna hold itself. Um, the the book is not separate from that hardcover binding that that you know and love from like Marvel and DC Omnibus. So it's a little bit cumbersome to read it. It's a little bit, you know. This is not exactly super fun, but it is the cheapest way to do it. There are other options for this, uh, but they're much, much more expensive. Reading this in single issues is very difficult as well. Some of these issues, $20, $30, $100 a piece because they're, uh, the covers are just so incredible and so collectible. Invincible is a property I see only getting larger and that is why I have purchased this this CGC book. Uh, the 9.8 is a little bit out of my price range for what I'm wanting, but this book, if this goes live action, this is going to be huge. This this story is ju it's just a matter of time, and it's already it may already be there. It may already be there with with the animated show. It's only a matter of time before this gets so huge. It's on the same level as MCU's type stuff. I mean this this is going to put this is going to put image on the map as far as potential live screen adaptation and if we don't if we don't get anything else if we just get the animated series that could be that's enough I mean this this animated show this is out there this may be the best superhero content there is period better than the MCU better than in DC because of the subject material so like they they can't screw it up like i mean i guess you could but the subject the the original material is just so good that it i mean just don't venture off from that and it's going to be absolutely incredible so talking to other people that read this on an issue to issue basis i think it lost some interest for some people but man it just reads so much better in that trade in that trade this book is like super self-aware. So like it picks fun at our superhero tropes. It picks fun at um, uh, writers and artists. And it, it's, I love that. It's, it, it's similar to the boys. You know, you can compare it to the boys in that superheroes behaving badly because we just don't really see that in Marvel and DC. You know, we just accept that those characters exist in this world where superheroes are a thing and, um, we, we, uh, the populace is just accepting of that. Well, in the boys and then this, it questions that. And this does such a great job of, again, what it means to be a hero. This is more lighthearted than the boys. The boys can become very dark. Um, it's humor, very dark. 
Um, this kind of leaves you with hope, especially with the, the colors and the vibrant colors and the, an the anime style panels and just, it, it's just a lot more lighthearted and it's a lot more fun. It's enjoyable and it just, it, it's escapism at its purest and that is what I think comics are all about. This succeeds on every single level. Read this book. I command you, read this book. I demand it. Sticky Goose demands that you read this. Thank you guys for watching. If at any point in time you like this video, give the thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.